Sri Seshadri Swamigal is an Indian saint who was born in Kanchipuram, Tamil Nadu. He mostly lived in Thiruvannamalai and attained Samadhi there. He was born in Kanchipuram to Sri Vardarajan and Srimati Margadambal, a devout couple from a family of Sri Vidya Upasakars. A very notable incident occurred in the life of Seshadri Swamigal as a young boy of four. Once, when he was on his way to Varadaraja Perumal Swami temple in Kanchipuram, he ran up to a shopkeeper and asked for the idol of Lord Krishna. The shopkeeper was delighted to see such devotion in the young boy and gladly gave him an idol from his collection. Eventually, by divine grace, the shopkeeper had sold a hundred such idols within the same day, which he would otherwise have taken months to barely sell even fifty of them. The shopkeeper thus referred to the divine land as Tangakkai or the one with a golden hand. At the age of fourteen, Seshadri's father died unexpectedly and the family moved to a place called Varur. It was here that Seshadri Swamigal completed his education. A few years after his father's death, his mother also passed away. His uncle, Sri Ramaswami Josiar, and his aunt Kalyani took care of Seshadri like their own son as the couple were childless. At her deathbed, Seshadri's mother, Maragadam, advised her son to seek the grace of Lord Arunachala in Trivandamalai and told him that the very thought of Arunachala granted mukti or salvation. The young Seshadri heard his mother's parting words and was heartbroken. He resolved to seek refuge in divine grace and inclined himself towards spirituality by performing worship and tapas, all of which would bear fruit later in his life and establish him as a prominent and contemporary saint of Trivandamalai after Bhagavan Ramana Maharishi. At the age of 19, Seshadri met Sri Balaji Swamigal, an avaduta from North India who gave the young lad Sanyasa Diksha, an initiation by Guru that spiritually binds the pupil to grow in his spiritual journey under divine grace. He was also instructed on Mahavakyas or holy utterances or sayings of the four Vedas. After travelling to various pilgrim spots in Tamil Nadu, the young Seshadri ended up at Trivannamalai and remained there for 40 years like an ascetic with total disregard for worldly dealings. Meanwhile, his uncle Sri Ramaswami Josiar came to know the whereabouts of the renunciant Seshadri and rushed to Trivannamalai along with Seshadri's younger brother Sri Narasimha Josiar to inform him of the longing his aunt Kalyani had for Seshadri and how she died unable to bear the separation from the young Seshadri. However, since the young saint had become a complete renunciate, his relatives left half-heartedly after informing the well-wishers and devotees gathered to take care of him. The young Seshadri was steeped in supreme consciousness, yet the mundane world labelled him mad and a wise lunatic. Sri Seshadri Swamigal had a deep devotion to God, especially in the form of the goddess Kamakshi, Lord Rama, Arunachala and he was a great worshipper of Shakti. In the practice of concentration, he sat steeped in Samadhi, oblivious of his body. He was sometimes unapproachable and would fling stones at people who neared him. Throughout his life and teachings, Sri Seshadri Swamigal continuously emphasized the glory of Arunachala. He described the unique aspects of the Arunachala Kshetra, the pilgrim spot, as the place where Swami and Ambal invite all and confer liberation, and Lord Krishna, leaving aside his Sudarshana Chakra, plays on his flute to which Lord Shiva comes out of the Arunachala mountain and dances. 
Seshadri arrived at Arunachala 6 years earlier than Ramana who was 10 years younger than Seshadri Swamigal. When Ramana Maharishi came to Trivandamalai, Seshadri took care of the young Ramana and protected the lad who was quite unaware of his body and surroundings. He cleansed Ramana's blood oozing wounds and was instrumental in revealing to the world Bhagavan Ramana Maharishi's spiritual greatness. Shri Seshadri Swamigal was an avaduta as he would be seen roaming around town with a half shaven face wearing dirty clothes oblivious of his surroundings or his appearance absorbed in eternal consciousness he also had a peculiar way of granting blessings to spiritual seekers and devotees once a person named natesa mudalayar desired to be graced by bhagwan ramana maharishi but was unable to get the grace of the guru until he met shri seshadri swamigal the moment shri seshadri swamigal saw natesa mudalayar he drove him away this was a blessing in disguise because as it turned out bhagwan shri ramana maharishi finally graced natesa mudalayar with his darshan and tutelage shri seshadri swamigal had another peculiar way of blessing devotees where he would randomly approach shops and throw away the cash counter or the shop's inventory this strange action of his would consequently result in skyrocketing sales in the shop graced by him once he entered the house of a person named tilak shastri and told his brother that he would lose his ailing kid but instead the child was cured miraculously and became hale and healthy likewise he walked into the house of a person named arunachalam and told his father to take two bananas before leaving arunachalam's critical father made a dramatic recovery and seshadri swamigal's word turned to be true seshadri swamigal followed advaita or the non dual state as evinced in an incident while walking along the streets of tirunelveli he stopped a passer by and asked him pointing to a tethered buffalo as to what the passer by saw to which he replied that he saw a buffalo seshadri swamigal corrected him and said this is brahman thereby he expounded the same principle of advaita the oneness in all beings and all beings in oneness in a slightly different manner from bhagwan shri ramana maharishi of the gnana marga the path of self enquiry during his final days shri seshadri swamigal was afflicted with a fever devotees had the desire to take a picture of the swamigal shaved bathed and dressed well they then performed pattabhishekam swamigal first refused saying that he would come down with fever but finally gave in to his devotees wishes it is said that for some months before this he indicated by asking a devotee whether he should build a new house and move there metaphorically implying that he should shed his mortal coil seshadri swamigal attained samadhi on january 4th 1929 his body was not cremated but buried as is the custom in the case of a saint The Seshadri Swamigal Ashram is in Trivandamalai near Ramana Ashramam of Bhagwan Ramana Maharishi Om Namah Shivaya